Welcome to Naresh Technologies, I am Bangaraju and in this video uh, I want to demonstrate you about abstract uh, classes. So, what is an abstract class and uh, what are the use of these abstract classes uh, in our applications? So, first let us just understand about abstract classes and abstract methods. Abstract classes and abstract methods. So, what is an abstract method? First, let me tell you about abstract method. What is an abstract method? A method without any method body is known as an abstract method. A method without any method body is known as a abstract method. What the method contains is only declaration of the method. What it contains is only declaration of the method. So, there will not be any implementation at all, only declaration. Suppose, if at all we want to write a method public void add int x comma int y. So, this method is a non abstract method. This method is a non abstract method, a method with method body. But without writing any body, if at all I end this with a semicolon here, this method is what we call as a abstract method. And remember, if you want to define a method as abstract, here we should explicitly use the abstract modifier. We should explicitly use the abstract modifier. If you use the abstract modifier here, and automatically that method is now going to be called as a abstract method. So, this is what an abstract method is public abstract void add. So, this is an abstract method. We can use this particular abstract method in our classes. So, what are the use I will tell you, okay. But first, this is what we call an abstract method. Now, what is an abstract class? Say, as per the object oriented programming, you need to define a method inside a class. We need to define this inside a class. So, we cannot write directly anywhere. You need to write it inside a class now. Suppose I am going to write this particular code in a class now, class some math. Now, remember this class is going to be a abstract class. This class is also going to be an abstract class. If a class contains any abstract members in it, must and should that class should be also declared as abstract. So, now this is an abstract method and this abstract method is defined for you inside a class and we call that class as a abstract class. So, that is how exactly we define abstract methods and abstract classes. Generally, when we define an abstract class, we will get a doubt. What is the doubt? Without a method body, what will be the use of the method? Method is declared as abstract under any class, then the child class of that class is responsible for implementing the method. Who is responsible? The child class is responsible for implementing the method. So, right now, if you define a method as abstract in a class, the child class of this particular class has to implement the method for sure, compulsory, cannot escape. Means, simply speaking, in inheritance, we just watched out parent class providing some properties to the children to consume. So, all the parent class properties are provided to the children for consumption. But right now, is all, here also inheritance comes into picture. But the point to note here is, here the parent class is abstract class but will not provide any properties to the children to consume. What it does, you know, it imposes some restrictions on the children. It is just going to impose some restrictions on the children and the children has to follow or fulfill those restrictions. That was the basic idea of an abstract class. So, every method that is declared in this abstract class should be implemented by the child class of the abstract class. So, whoever is the child should implement, you cannot escape from it you cannot escape from implementing the methods. So, that is what the rule here. If a method is declared as abstract under any class, then the child class of that class is responsible for implementing the method. Okay? Uh, I should say like this, without fail, 
without fail you are required to give the implementation well and good. Now, uh, the concept of these abstract methods, the concept of the abstract methods will be somewhat near similar to the concept of method overriding. The concept of abstract methods will be near similar to the concept of method overriding. Suppose if I have a class here, class here called class 1. In this class, if I have any virtual method public virtual void show, it is a virtual method. And now, I have a child class now, class, class 2, colon, class 1. And now, if you just understand, class 2 can override this method, class 2 can override this method. Right now, I am not giving any implementation for this, okay, um, some implementation, some logic, but this is a non-abstract method and this non-abstract method is right now virtual and this method can be now overridden under the child class. You can override the method in the child class. How you override public? Override void show and basically we call this as re-implementation. We call this as re-implementation. Why? The method is already implemented in the parent and you are again re-implementing the method in the child. Okay? And uh, this is going to be mandatory or optional means this is only optional. You can just perform this. So, in method overriding, what we do? If a parent class contains any method declared as virtual, then that method can be re-implemented under the child class. Can be re-implemented. Understand? It can be re-implemented means it is not mandatory. It is only optional. Exactly in the same way, suppose I am copying the same thing, pasting it over here. I am going to declare this class as abstract and this is not a virtual method, this is a abstract method. Abstract method means we do not have any body now. Now, this is class 2, inheriting from class 1. And what we discussed like child class has to implement the abstract method. How to implement? Same again. We use the same override modifier, but the difference is not optional, mandatory it is mandatory and second thing is it is not re-implementation, it is implementation. Why? Parent class did not provide any implementation. It was not giving any implementation to method. That method is abstract and the method is implemented in the child class. But see the way you are writing here public override void show, here also it is public override void show. But here it is optional because already implemented the parent, we are re-implementing but, but here it is mandatory and this is not re-implementation, this is purely implementation. So, the concept of the abstract methods is near similar to the concept of method overriding. That is, in method overriding, if a parent class contains any method declared as virtual, then those methods can be re-implemented under the child class. Those methods can be re-implemented under the child class by using the override modifier. You can re-implement in the child class by using the override modifier and this was only optional. Whereas, in case of abstract, in case of abstract, if at all a parent class contains any abstract methods in it, then those methods must be implemented under the child class by using the same override modifier. You must implement them in the child class by using the same override modifier and remember this is not optional, this is purely mandatory. You cannot escape from this. So, that is what the idea behind, sorry, that is what the difference behind your method overriding and the abstract methods. Both are two, di two different things what we just have. Okay. The next thing I want to tell you here is, listen, I have an abstract class. Do not think like abstract class can contain only abstract methods. It can contain non-abstract methods also. So, this class has abstract methods, but can contain 
non abstract methods also both can be present both these two can be defined in the abstract class there is no restriction if the class is non abstract can contain only non abstract methods but if the class is abstract can contain abstract as well as non abstract methods also both can be present now assume like i have a child class of abstract class i have a child class of abstract class now remember if at all you have a child class of an abstract class the child class of abstract class is responsible for implementing all the abstract methods of parent you cannot escape every method should be implemented if you implement only you can consume the non abstract methods of parent generally in inheritance what we saw child class can directly consume the methods of the parent but here not possible you cannot consume means the property is on a restriction until and unless the restriction fulfilled you cannot consume the members of the parent class so the point to understand is if you don't implement these abstract methods you cannot consume non abstract methods under the child class so what to do you know i need to give an implementation for all the abstract methods so what to do implement each and every abstract method of parent class each and every abstract method of parent class now only we can consume non abstract methods of parent class now only we can consume non abstract methods of parent class otherwise you cannot consume the non abstract methods of the parent class to consume the must to implement each and every abstract method of the parent class simple it is something like a combination of assets and liabilities assets and liabilities see you can never acquire the assets of your parents without clearing the liabilities suppose there was some uh, jewelry or a building uh, something what a parent has and that was put in a bank guarantee and taken a loan from it and taken a loan from it and tomorrow if at all you want to get back your money okay if at all you want to get back the money you just require to fulfill the you require to clear the loan suppose the father has put in a bank guarantee and taken a loan from the bank the father has put this property in a bank guarantee and taken a loan father did not fulfill it in the future that property belongs to children but children remember children cannot get the right on the property until and unless the loan is cleared so first you require to go to the bank clear the loan and once you clear the loan you will get a right on that so that's what i said you asset and a liability always you can understand it like this suppose a father has promised his son a promised his children a son or a daughter someone like uh if at all you're just going to get some 80% or 90% of the marks in the annual examination i will award you with a bike i will award you with a bike okay so a bike is going to be given to you but you require to get 80% or 90% of marks in the annual examination so now the father has just shown everything now what is it the bike is going to be ready and put all the money before you the money is before you and everything is ready but now you want to get the patla bike if you want to get the bike as a children what to do you require to just fulfill the requirement what is the requirement achieve that 80% or 90% of the marks first and after achieving that only the bike will be given to you until then you will not get it so this is also exactly same so what is it the parent contains both abstract methods and non abstract method say this is the bike and this is your target now so if you want to get this what do you require to do you require to fulfill the target what is that fulfilling the target is nothing but implement each and every abstract method of the parent class now only we can consume the non abstract methods of parent class under the child class so that's a restriction what we have so totally from the top if you just understand the point here so first thing is what is an abstract class and an abstract method a method without any method body is known as a abstract method what the method contains is only declaration of the method 
Okay. Next, a class under which we define abstract methods is known as an abstract class. A class under which we define abstract methods is known as an abstract class. Okay. And a very important point to understand is to tell a method as abstract or a class as abstract, we should use the abstract modifier on that particular method and class. So, the important note to be considered is to define a method or class as abstract, we require to use the abstract keyword on them. We require to use the abstract keyword on them. That is a very important point. Okay? Fine. Let us put all these things into implementation. I named the project as an abstract project, a console application. In this, I am going to add a class and I will name this class as ABS parent. ABS parent is the class name. I am declaring the class as abstract because my intention is to define some abstract members into the class. In this class, let me define some abstract members. Public, abstract, void or First, I will go with non-abstract here, public void and index comma int y. Console dot right line x plus y. Same way, let us define one more method. Sub minus y. Public abstract void yeah, an abstract method. So, there are two non-abstract and the two abstract methods and remember currently we cannot run this class. Why we cannot run the class? Because we cannot create the instance of a class which contains abstract methods in it. It is not possible to create an instance. If you try, you get an error. Watch static void main new abs parent p dot. I want to call the method add by passing the value and p dot sub console dot read line. You run this code and you will notice it. You get an error. What is the error? You cannot create an instance of the abstract class. You cannot create an instance of the abstract class or interface. What is the interface? We will just study about it. Leave it. For the time being, we are talking on abstract class. You can never create an instance of the abstract class. That is the important thing here. So, the point here is currently the class does not have any static members. If there are any static members, we can just directly call them. But Non-static members cannot be called. Compulsory, you need to create a instance to call each and every non-static member. So, instance creation is not possible. If instance creation is not possible, you cannot call the instance members. You cannot call the non-static members of your particular class directly now. So, this is not possible. If this is not possible, this method call is not possible. If this method call is not possible, there is no point of writing the main method currently under the class. I do not want it, just want to show you that is it. What is it? The instance of an abstract class cannot be created. Okay? Fine. Who can consume this particular methods? Child classes. See right now. Suppose if there is a child class for this ABS parent, the child class has to give the implementation for these two methods before consuming these two methods. Watch it. Let us add a new class under this project and I will name this class as ABS child, ABS child and this ABS child I am inheriting from ABS parent. Generally, in inheritance, child class will get a right immediately on the parent class members. 
once we say colon abs parent child class will get a right immediately on the parent class members but not now check abs child c is equals to new abs child c dot add c dot sub console dot read line i am calling the methods now run it you get an error what is the error right now the error is present in abs child remember that is an abs child not in abs parent child class what is the error it was telling you the child class did not implement the method mul and the method div of the parent class so that only said you you cannot escape without fail you should implement each and every method and without implementing you cannot consume the parent class non abstract methods every method should be implemented over here so now those two methods should be implemented right now okay public how to implement override when you say override you get a list of all the methods now what methods the list of all the virtual methods and abstract methods of the parent see our abstract methods are div and mul they are remaining the remaining are the virtual methods of the parent equals grash code to string these three are the virtual methods of the parent who is the parent object object class the default parent of all the classes from there inherited to abs parent and from there inherited to abs child so these three came from object we don't want to override these three methods because overriding those three methods is not mandatory because they are virtual we need to override the method div and mul first let us start with the method mul give an implementation console dot write line x into y next public override void the method dev console dot write line x by y x by y and now i will look here i did not call the two methods i am calling only the method add and sub you can run you can see those two methods are not called here calling is not mandatory implementation is mandatory you call it today you call it tomorrow something will happen but today implementation should be done for compilation of the project it is compulsory if you want you can call the methods here c dot mul div all the four methods that's how you can just use a abstract classes and abstract method remember we can never create the instance of an abstract class already we tried and we got an error again one more time abs parent p is equals to generally you notice it errors you don't require to wait for compilation visual studio only will tell you each and everything watch when i say abs child c is equals to new can i create the instance of abs child possible but not abs parent when i say new immediately you see intelligence is highlighting you abs child here. okay same way abs parent p is equals to new intelligence did not show you anything at all when i say new also nothing is going to be shown for you why not possible visual studio will only tell you each and everything no need to wait for the compilation compile and all at the time of typing only it will tell off every error to you so right now when i say new it is not listing you anything but if i try writing abs parent will show you but generally when i say new in the first case when you know, new and space i got abs child but here i'm not getting blindly type it it will take but error will come see no need compilation error error is coming already that clear line there and what is the error cannot create an instance of the abstract class you cannot create the instance of an abstract class but i can create a reference of my abstract class this is possible this is possible what's the reference in the inheritance videos i was explaining you about it you can create a reference of a parent class by using a child class instance so what is p a parent class reference that is created by using child class instance and with this p can i call the methods yes you can you can call the add method you can call the 
subtract method you can call the method mul you can call the method div all the four methods can be called but you will have a doubt what is it parent class references cannot call child class members parent class references even if created by using the child class instance cannot call child class methods provided the methods are purely defined in the child class but can call overridden members why overridden members are never pure child class members if a method is overridden in the child class means it has taken the permission from the parent to perform it so parent is completely aware of that method so that's way parent class references can always call child classes overridden members but cannot call pure child class members so you can call all the four methods run all the four are executed so this is the process of exactly you need to define abstract classes and abstract methods so this is the process to define abstract class and abstract methods of this okay so what is it a method without any method body is called as an abstract method a class under which we define an abstract method is called abstract class and every abstract classes abstract method should be implemented by the child class without fail by using the override modifier and if you don't implement it child class cannot be compiled or cannot be executed it's a restriction on the child class to implement and other things what we learned abstract class can contain abstract as well as non abstract also but to consume the non abstract methods of the parent class in the child class you should implement each and every abstract method of the parent class in the child class so these are the rule and is the process thank you for watching the video for more videos please subscribe to our youtube channel naresh it Thank you.